Shut up! We're leaving you! We're leaving you unless you're coming to motorsports. Uh, I gotta go to the gym. Brian, did you wash your truck? I don't wash my truck. You took it through the car wash? Yeah. <laughs> Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. First off, don't mind my raspy voice. We are still getting over this, whatever whatever we have, we don't know. But anyway, we woke up pretty dang late this afternoon. I say afternoon, yes, I woke up. What's, what time did you wake me up? Ryan over here sent me a text. I sent you a text at nine, I didn't get a response, so almost 10.45. 10, yeah, yeah, so. So I think my body is just trying to uh, sleep. That's what that's what I'll play it off as. So we don't we still don't have a whole lot to do at the shop. Well, we always have stuff to do, but we're still waiting on parts uh, that are supposed to be here today. So the first half, uh oh gosh, first half of today, Ryan pretty much did not give me a choice. Uh, he came to my house and picked me up and said, "Where, where are we going?" We're going down by Philly. We're going to Oaks, Pennsylvania to the motorsports show. Is that what its official name is? The motorsports yeah, show. Motorsports show. Trade show. Twenty eight trade. Trade Motorsports like Show. It's like our PRI for racing. Okay. So we're going to hang out with Ryan and Big Rich over here. And uh, we're going to go to this motorsports show and uh, look at cars that only turn left. No, there's track for Oh, okay. So there is other stuff here. So. Okay, so that's what we're doing this morning. Um, and then when we get back, maybe we'll go back over to the shop. But this is what we're doing first half of today. But better question is... You guys know Snap on Ryan. Used to race dirt, race dirt cars over here. Why are we? What? You're you know, you're not doing that anymore. I thought. I thought you wanted to buy like a like a Fox body or something else. I thought you wanted to beat John Doc too. We we're gonna build you a drag car. We are gonna build a drag car. Why can't I build two race cars? <laughs> yeah. On my budget. It's, building building two race cars is, is not a not a thing. in the back of his S10. That's it. I'll take I'll take it I'll take it to go. Truck and all, right? Look at that. Front row parking. Good job, Ryan. I'm awesome. I don't know about all that. <laughs> Can we take this one home? Oh, that's it? All right. Oh, look at that. Can 
Did you run the clear panels just like no, that? No, it's just Lexon. Oh. Uh, Lexon? Lexon. Lexion? Lexon. <laughs> Brian, you, do you want me to? You want me to pick up some tools here? Look at that face. Are you sure? That, I'm sure they got better deals than the Snap-on truck, though. You and your hobo freight. <laughs> Everybody liked that. Everybody liked my word that you Every, stole. Yeah, I stole it. Totally did. I wonder what the warranty is on this stuff. It's the door policy. As soon as you're out the door, it's. <laughs> Alrighty, that's a wrap. Ryan, what did we decide that we needed? Um, we all need black enclosed trailers and we need 36 foot enclosed trailers right with nine and a half foot ceilings new race cars new pit vehicles new everything all new i think the thing that's the coolest thing about the dirt car sports is all of the fancy anodizing yeah oh yeah <laughs> everything is like well, anodized like everything, black and everything, gold and everything everything black. is very nice for the first time before it goes out and gets completely trashed but for the time it's brand new it looks really 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 good all the all the details are there alrighty time to go home what time is it currently 2:45. bye buddy bye see ya I'll let you know when our new trailer comes in Alrighty guys, just got home from the show with Ryan and now we are headed back over to the shop to get some work done. I believe our good buddy Mark, I think that's his, his name is all, his name is Mark, but I always say good buddy Mark. So we're just gonna call him good buddy Mark. So good buddy Mark is at the shop, I think. We're gonna try and get the, the ball joints have come in for the first gen, which we were waiting for. So we're gonna try and get those knocked out, maybe get that thing back on the uh, wheels. And then tomorrow I think we're gonna do some more work, but. That's where we're at, that's where we're headed. Of course, my truck is locked. Good buddy Mark is already here and waiting for us. We are late as usual. Alrighty guys, so we just got the uh, lower ball joint on the other arm off and we pulled the spring out. And this is the little coil spacer thing which uh, looks like it did a little shift action a long long time ago so uh, the new stuff is in we got the new coil spacers for the new coils so they can sit on the top here like so that'll be like that and then we also did get the upper and lower ball joints and yes I do appreciate you guys mentioning but the uh, top ones are threaded and it looks like our bottom ones I looked they do not have the square pattern like the tops do so these are going to be press in style so hopefully it all comes apart very well and Mark got us our big socket to unthread those so hopefully it all goes well but that's what we're going to be doing we're going to be trying to get the first gen back down on the ground today we'll see how it goes for the rest of the night all right so here's where we left off last we got the lower ball joint out of the knuckle basically going to do the same for the top going to undo that nut loosen that and then the whole knuckle assembly is going to come off and then we're going to start undoing the ball joints with our socket here And that is what it's going to look like here. Bare ball joints, we're going to unpress that one. And we have our socket here. We're going to unscrew that. So I started off with a meh, three foot breaker bar to loosen this. But it actually was surprisingly not that tight. So, so far, so good.
Good. All right. Top one, done. Look at that. Look at that. Just like butter. Just for the record, everybody, these were definitely tight. We checked them, they were tight, but we're gonna do them anyway. For the peace of mind, with the new springs going in. Alrighty guys, got the bottom ball joint pressed in here. Got the little rubber dust cover seals on the bottom and on the top and we are pretty much ready to start reassembling got the uh, lower control arm basket here vacuumed out we're gonna throw the spring in there and uh, start the reassembly process which basically just reversal of the last video if you guys haven't seen the last video I'll go put it up here that's part one of tearing all this down disassembly and uh, but now we're just gonna reverse that sounds great just like that there you go Alrighty guys, just wrapping up for this evening. I know there's a little lapse of time here, but everything went extremely, extremely well. We got the new 7226. Can you hear Mark? He's still out there beating it. Got the new springs in, everything went well. Got the uh, ball joints all torqued to spec. Got it started to get put together, but we ended up bouncing over to the other side and finishing up that as well. Um, pretty much a good stopping point for tonight. I could go ahead and spend all night here, but uh, we're gonna save that for another time. But the new springs are in, the ball joints are in and torqued. We still have to put the Zerk fittings in and grease them up and uh, go ahead and tighten everything else back up. But we're in good shape to reassemble very, very easily. So huge thank you to Mark giving us a hand again. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys were wondering the part numbers that we used, the uh, coil spring isolators are this number right here. And here are the two ball joint numbers. I don't know which one was lowers or uppers, but the upper one's unthreaded very nicely. I swear this truck has come apart easier than trucks that are, you know, 10 years newer. It's crazy, but everything went very smooth. Alrighty guys, we're just gonna finish off the night here real quick with one thing that was in the P.O. box from Zach Clark in North Carolina. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Oh, look at that. Wrench rail set. Congratulations on the new shop. You're going to build into an awesome place, but you need a lift ASAP. I know we do. We do need a lift. The lift is on the list. The lift is just, um, you know, it's expensive. It's expensive, and we got a lot of other things in the background coming up that are going to need quite a bit of money to do. So um, we might have to hold off on the lift just a little bit. Uh, but I do would love a lift, but at the same time, again. Pretty expensive, so um, if any of you guys have lifts laying around, sure, come come ahead and install one. But um, anyway, love all the projects. Long time subscriber. Look forward to each and every upload. North Carolina, live in North Carolina. Same as I did. Bought his own first gen. Nice. Wrench organizers. Yes. Best wishes. Thank you very much. I do appreciate it very much, Zach. Thank you, guys. That is pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hit the like button before you leave. Subscribe if you have not already. See ya.